Hello and welcome to another card we're making today. Today we are using Clockworks, which is a really cute set. It's really good for masculine cards and if you like that vintage um, kind of feel, it's really cool. So we've got an early espresso base, which I prepared earlier. And then it's just going to be a really simple card. I'm using this as my main piece to mount on here. And then this bit to do some that I'm going to cut out. So I'm going to start off with this main image. And I'm just using crumb cake ink. Because we're keeping it pretty neutral. And first thing I'm going to do is, I don't want this one to be too strong. So I'm going to stamp it off before I stamp it onto my paper. Like so. Then I'm going to use the other swirly image. And I don't really want the swirls showing. So I put them in there and the swirls actually going to get covered up. So the next thing we need to do is some embossing, which is very exciting. Um, just turn my phone off so it doesn't ring. So on the scrap piece of card that I've got here, I'm using grey vanilla because it's nice and neutral again. And I'm using Burst Mark ink. I'm just going to stamp that. And then I'm going to use some gold embossing powder. The stamping up embossing powder is really good because it's super fine. And um, a lot of people who didn't like embossing once they tried this, like it much more using stamping up stuff. Oh, I just put it everywhere. Well, I've been nice and shimmery then, I know. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Oh, I've got it in the middle. Just adjust that slightly. Right, I'm just gonna heat it up again. And so then I've got my clock face. Um, the next thing I want to do is stamp the numbers in it. Um, my daughter has walked off with one half of my stamp magic, so to make it rather more challenging I'm going to have to freehand it. Um, and I'm going to do this one in basic black. I'm not going to worry about where the numbers are exactly. So it's like that. And then I need the arms of the clock on there. And I'm going to um, do that again embossed in gold. I guess actually if I wasn't so silly I could have done that all in one go but never mind. I'll just tip that on there and I'll just repeat that and then that clock's done. Because the gun's heated up a bit now so we've got a clock that I can cut out. Then I'm going to keep using the gold embossing powder and I'm going to use some cogs. I think it's just the three. So I'm going to use the little cog stamps and I'm just going to um, stamp randomly with them. I don't want to use the arms of the clock which I was just about to. And I'm also going to stamp from Made For You which I think is an absolute bargain of a set. It's only um, 8 95 I think it is in clear. And you get thank you, especially for you, and happy birthday all in the same set. So it's really good if you're just, especially if you're just starting out. Um, it's one of those ones that you can really get a lot of use out of for not too much money. So then I'm just going to stamp especially for you. And I'm just going to emboss those as well. Shuffle it along here. So you can see that's like that. And then I just keep these up. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, can you see my thumb? Too much. Okay, so there we have all of our embossing done. And it's time to finish off the card. I'm just going to move all of this embossing powder out of my way because I will deal with that later. As you can see, I've made a right mess. As always, so I'll just let that one cool. And whilst it cools, I'm going to cut out the clock face. So there's not really, obviously you can't use a punch for it because it's um, not just a circle. There's not a punch that goes with it. But you could set the time to like a significant time, like the time that the person was born, if it's a birthday card or, um, you know, if there's a time of day that's significant, you can use that. Because you could mask the numbers so that, I mean, their hands. So there's a little doodad there. Um, again, I still haven't got my sticky things. They're meant to be coming. They're meant to be coming tomorrow. So at the moment, everything is pretty flat. So there you go. I've stuck that over the swirl so you can see that's taking off the girliness. Because most men are not big fans of swirls. So I've discovered. Or glitter. My husband's definitely not a fan of glitter. Especially when he finds it all over the whole house. So, um, we'll just stick that on there. And get it straight. It would help if I'd made the card base straight. And voila! There is my finished card. Only took uh, less than seven minutes. And that's with me faffing about. And obviously you could tailor this, it doesn't have to stay especially for you, it could say anything you wanted it to. So I hope you've enjoyed this, don't forget to check out my blog Blue Angel Crafts, and I hope to see you again soon.